بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في سبون يو اب دكتور طه اي ونت تو شو ذا ايز بلوك ذيس تكنيك بروفايد توتال انرجيزيا تو ذا شولدر وذاوت افكتنج ذا ذات فريم ايز بلوك از فورم باي تو كومبوننتس ذا فيرست وان از انفرا كلافيكولار بلوك ثرو ا بوستيور ابروتش اند ذا سكند وان از ساب اومو هارمويد بلوك ات از انترفيشال تكنيك تو بلوك ذا سوبرا سكابيلار نيرف Now we'll talk about the innervation of the shoulder joint. The shoulder joint and the muscle and this surrounding muscle is entirely supplied by the brachial plexus. Uh, with a small part of the skin supplied by cervical plexus, but mainly the shoulder joint and the all surrounding muscles supplied by brachial plexus. Almost all branches that supply the shoulder joints come from brachial plexus root, and with the exception of the suprascapular nerve. We we'll see now the anatomy of the brachial plexus coats and the suprascapular nerve. This tube represents the axillary artery, which is continuation of the subclavian artery. Uh, in the beginning, at the level of divisions of the brachial plexus, they are lying, lie superior and lateral to the subclavian artery, which is while, while it descends, it becomes a cord, and the cord is a three cord in the costo, uh, in the costo clavicular space, still lies lateral to the artery. But down at the level of the cricoid, the three cords arranged according to their names. Uh, uh, the letter cord letter to the artery. The medial cord, the blue one, is medial to the artery, and the posterior cord is posterior to the artery. Stop. Uh, the lateral cord gives the muscocutaneous nerve and the lateral pectoral nerve, and this is very important innervation to the shoulder. Also, the posterior cord gives the axillary nerve, which is a very and supras and subscapularis nerves, subscapular nerves. And both are very, very important innervation to the shoulder. But the main innervation of the shoulder, in addition, is the suprascapular nerve. Uh, suprascapular nerve is one of the important branches to the shoulder. It is a branch from uh, uh, the upper trunk. It originates at the herpes point here in this area, and then passes in the supraclavicular region toward the suprascapular notch. This is the suprascapular notch and the ligament is attached here and making this a foramen. Then it runs deep to the supraspinatus here in the supraspinatus, supraspinatus, supraspinatus fossa and cross the spine here and wing around it to come here in the infraspinatus and it supplies the infraspinatus as well. Okay. An important landmark in this area is the inferior belly of omohyoid. Inferior belly of omohyoid originate medial of the medial lip of the suprascapular notch from this point and goes to the inter intermediate tendon behind the costoclavicular joint here behind the sternomastoid muscle in this area the muscle cross anteriorly uh, superiorly to the supraspinatus suprascapular nerve so this nerve can be simply in blocked by infiltrating local anesthetic just deep to this muscle the inferior belly of omohyoid. Okay. Okay. In all our limb blocks, we place the patient in sitting position and we put his head in almost on the edge of the table. If you are doing the left side, we push the head to the right side and the opposite if you go there. If the block side is the left side, I stand, I prefer to stand on the left side of the patient, putting my upper sound like this, facing the upper sound machine in front of me. But if I am doing the right side, I stand toward the head of the patient. This gives me a better chance to use my right hand, to use, to hold the needle with my right hand. So if the block is this side, I hold the needle like this. If the block is this side, I can hold the needle like this. Okay? Okay, for posterior approach for infraclavicular, the ultrasound is placed as usual, inferior to the clavicle, and you try to get the best picture of the brachial plexus here. Then the needle is advanced superior to the clavicle, about one and a half centimeters superior to the clavicle. And then it passes deep to the clavicle or posterior towards the brachial plexus. 
In this approach, the needle is almost horizontal, so it is giving a very good resolution of the needle. Okay? In the suprascapular nerve block, we identify the omohyoid longitudinally and we play the local anesthetic deep to the omohyoid. So we block the ultrasound like this until we identify the omohyoid. Then we redirect the needle, which was there, we as, uh, withdraw the needle and redirect it toward the deep surface of the omohyoid. Then we play the, our local anesthetic without identification of the suprascapular nerve. We play the ultrasound machine, the needle. Yes. Okay. The needle will go above the clavicle about one, cent one and a half centimeters, here like this. Shaka is very Aiming to identify the axillary artery and the cord supical plexus. In this subject, the medial cord lies superior to the vessel. The artery and the brachial plexus cords lies deep to pectoralis major and minor. Local anesthetic is injected around the artery. In the sonographic image, the needle is usually appears bended at this point. Okay, so now we finish the infraclavicular, the posterior approach. Now we'll go for the sub omohyoid. We play the ultrasound like this, barrel to the clavicle, and we see the omohyoid there. Laterally, the inferior belly of omohyoid lies between the trapezius muscles superiorly and subscapularis and serratus muscles inferiorly. The needle is withdrawn and redirected and advanced using the autoplane technique toward the deep surface of the inferior belly of omohyoid. Local anesthetic is injected deep to the inferior belly of omohyoid.